Hello dear friends, Happy Life chapter 177. Allow two people to finish what they are saying without interrupting. Of course, there is a limit to this. However, if you listen, you will be better prepared to enlighten them. If you interrupt, you might reach the wrong conclusion and miss out on what they are trying to tell you. Not everyone can express themselves easily and they sometimes go in circles or are unclear. Seek to grasp the main idea and dialogue without impatience or exasperation. Don't impose your thoughts or try to stop others from voicing ideas different than yours. So today's lesson talks about the incredible art of listening. More often than not, we want to talk. More often than not, we want to say what is in our mind, what we think the truth is. The hardest challenge that we have in our lives is the challenge of relating. And one of the key components for a healthy and better relating is the ability to listen. Listen fully. Listen with curiosity. Listen wholeheartedly. Being present. Being truly, truly curious about what the person has to say in patience. Some people are much better able to express themselves. They can go straight to the point. They are very objective. Some people are very pragmatic in the way they speak. And some people are very different. They can be extremely abstract. They can be um, have difficulties in finding the proper words, they can have difficulties emotionally to express feelings. In other words, there's a, a, a many different challenges in the area of communication. So if you, I, if we practice the art of listening, that really will enhance the quality of our communications. Why? Because it allows us to understand the whole story, gather as much as information as possible about the, the person who is speaking and be able to properly answer without hasting into conclusions, without assuming um, things which often uh, ends up creating problems and generating conflicts between people. So grasp the main idea, dialogue, without impatience or exasperation, don't impose your thoughts or try to stop others from voicing ideas different than yours. And this is hard because a lot of times when people voice something different, we have a lot of different feelings. So to be able to manage those feelings, to be able to say to yourself that that person has the right to think the way he or she thinks and wants to be respected in their point of view, the same way you want to be respected on, on your point of view and would like not to be interrupted when you are sharing your own ideas. So it all comes down to doing to others what we would like to be done to ourselves, treating others the way we wish to be treated by others. This, if we didn't have anything else, in the whole entire gospel, this would be it. This would be enough to transform the world, to transform our relationships, to transform the quality uh, that we live. And we say that so much in our meditations and lectures and things like that. But the question is, and I ask you, is I ask myself, um, how often do we bring this awareness to our day-to-day -day relating? How often we really think about, you know, whether we would be treated the way we are treating others. Often we find justifications for our own behavior as opposed to seek the guidance that Jesus left us as a key component for our happiness. So listening is an art, is something that we can exercise and that again, together with all these other little um, advices that Joana gives us can make a huge difference in the way we navigate our daily lives. Have a wonderful day and take time to listen to the people 
who are around you.